After a friend of mine showed me his Instagram real stats, I was sold. I mean, this guy doubled his organic growth from an average of 200 followers a day to 400 followers a day with Instagram reels. Even his views have tripled on his account, some even hitting a million views. Now, the account I'm talking about is at Bike Stable. I believe it's actually the biggest bike page in the world on Instagram. Now, of course, I had to try myself, and yes, reels. Instagram Reels is incredibly powerful. Here are seven tips on how to go viral with Instagram Reels, get featured on the Explore page and grow more followers organically. Step one, find the viral trends. Each niche will have certain viral trends. So research each niche, figure out what is getting the most views in that specific niche. For example, in the bike niche, insane tricks are clearly the most trending videos. In the luxury niche, you've got typical beautiful landscape, luxurious lifestyle pool type videos. And then for example, in the influencer niche of just, you know, personal brands on Instagram doing their thing, the videos that perform there are either super cringy videos like on TikTok, or you'll have videos that just you just can't stop watching them. When when actually writing the script for this video, I watched the video probably 20 times on repeat. Yeah, retarded. Moving on. Step two, steal the top trending music. Yeah, similar to TikTok, if you use music that is trending, your video is more likely to get featured on the explore page as well as go viral. So to steal a song, you simply just go to a video on Instagram Reels with a ton of views, you click at the bottom where you'll see the song kind of scrolling along the screen, you click at it and boom, there you go. You can now you create a reel with the same song. Step three, post content that make the audience feel certain emotions. Now, which emotions do you wanna aim for? Which emotions are the most powerful ones that are going to make the viewer continue watching? Number one, excitement. You know, such as the travel content or those incredible bike tricks. Uh, we have joy. We have sadness, we have anticipation, and we have awe. Now these emotions, based on myself, are the ones that made me continue to watch the video. Step four, post a preview to your feed. Now this is a must. The video need initial engagement. The way the Instagram algorithm works, the way the Instagram algorithm decides to rank a video or not, is if it has engagement. And if you don't post your reel to your feed, there is no way people are going to see it unless they go to your profile and then go to your reel category and then find the video there. Otherwise, they're not going to find it. So you must post your reel to your feed. Step number five get a high ITE score. When the Instagram algorithm ranks content, they look at the ITE score of that piece of content, whether it's a video, a story, a um, post, a carousel, whatever it is, they look at the ITE score. Now, what is an ITE score? The word ITE is a term I coined myself and it stands for impression to engagement. And this is how, the, this is the fundament of the Instagram algorithm. This is what it's built upon. Now, again, what does this mean? Well, say you have a million people being exposed to your videos. That's a million impressions. Then out of those million impressions, how many actually engage? How many view the video? How many like the video? The higher amount of people that convert from an impression to engagement, the higher ITE score, the higher that percentage is. And so you want to get a high ITE score because this tells the Instagram algorithm that this is a good video because a higher percentage than average of the people that are exposed to it consume the piece of content. So your goal again is to get a high ITE score. Now, how do you do this? Well, this comes back to step number four and understanding where your initial engagement comes from. You have to understand your audience and what they're trained to respond to. What of your previous content have the most engagement and have performed the best in the shortest amount of time? This is the content you should look at and analyze because that will give you the metrics, the data to understand what content you should now in the future produce to have a lot of initial engagement come through because this is the most important part of the engagement, the initial engagement. This is where the algorithm makes the first decision whether or not to rank the content, feature the content or not. Step six, post daily. Yeah, just post daily, simple. Step seven, 
repost slash recreate the most viral reels. Now, if you're a niche account, just go ham, like go repost the most viral content from the biggest pages in the niche and sit back, relax and let the followers flow through. Easy. This is guys, this is so powerful. Whenever Instagram announces a new feature like this, they push it like crazy. I mean, reels are at the top of the explore page. Most people consume reels now. Reels is so powerful, much more powerful than IGTV was when it first dropped. Much more powerful. Reels is the way to grow right now organically. So what are you doing? You should be posting as much as you can. If you don't have a repost page or a niche page, recreate what's performing. So again, study your niche. Study what people are doing in your niche. Study the bigger pages and then analyze what's performing the best for them and recreate that piece of content is not too difficult now that my friends has been it for the video if you enjoyed it smash the like button down below it takes you like two seconds and uh yeah i'm not gonna lie though this video was a bit of a pain in the ass to make because i was finding myself getting sidetracked so much on reels uh, maybe every 15 minutes when doing research i'd lose like 10-15 minutes of time just scrolling through reels dumb stupid don't waste your time like that be productive do something and uh, i will see you in the next video peace